What is up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the monitor over my shoulder. That's the LG Ultrawide 34UM67-P. So let's check it out. So this monitor has a manufacturer suggested retail price of $649. It's at the lower end of LG's 34 inch ultra wide monitor series. But straight out the gate, I've got to say that this monitor is absolutely stunning. It has a very thin bezel and glass that goes almost all the way out to the edge of the display. If you've never been up close to a 34 inch ultra wide or held one in your arms, it's actually kind of surprising and a little jarring exactly how big it is. It's literally about the same width as my two old 19 inch monitors, which I had up before, but with the obvious bonus of not having a bezel in the middle. So the ultra wide designation means that this has a 21 by 9 aspect ratio that's pretty close to the cinematic anamorphic format meaning you can enjoy movies and trailers in this format without having those black bars which is great. So the monitor does come with a stand which obviously I chose not to use. It's fairly low profile giving you a lot of room to put different items on your desk underneath it. One downer is the fact that this stand doesn't offer quite all that much adjustability. It features two different heights that you can set it with by unscrewing and refitting the stand at a different level. You get a little bit of limited tilt with this, but no panning, but the IPS display kind of makes up for this with its great viewing angles. So obviously, as you can see, it does have a vase amount and I've chose to go that way. It was pretty easy to get on my inexpensive desk mount. It has a 75 millimeter square vase mount. Another thing to note is that the back is slightly curved, so you might need longer screws and or spacers to accommodate this if you're going to mount the monitor on a wall. So getting into the specs, this is the 2560 by 1080 model. There is a very similar model to this that has 1440 vertical lines of resolution, and that monitor still tends to hover around $800 to $1,000. Continuing with the specs, this has a five milliseconds gray to gray response time. It is 60 hertz by default but it can be run at 75 hertz and one of the biggest features of this is that it supports FreeSync which is only available when connected via display port so definitely take note of that. FreeSync basically enables the tearing and stuttering you get when there's a difference in the frame rate that your video card is outputting and the refresh rate of the monitor. This should be a great feature for gaming but I'll get into that in a little bit. It does have a few different game modes. There are two first person shooter game modes. One is optimized for night and one is optimized for dark and it has one real time strategy preset. Support dynamic action sync which minimizes input lag it has black stabilizer this basically senses dark scenes and helps make them brighter which can be an advantage in gaming helping you see enemies a little bit better it does feature two seven watt built-in speakers they're nothing to write home about but they can be useful if you don't have a set but i'd save up and get something like a nice pair of uh, studio monitors or a nice 5.1 system so one really nice feature about this monitor is the color reproduction as i said it's an ips panel so it's a great solution for professional photographers editors graphic designers and anyone looking for pretty accurate color and it comes factory calibrated which is also pretty nice an interesting feature for multitasking is that it features a four screen split mode you can divide your screen into two three or four different sections now for gaming this can provide you with some really great experiences with a few caveats first is supported games if you have a pretty large steam library there's a good chance that a lot of your games will not support this resolution out of the box leaving you with black bars when it is supported you're in for a pretty nice treat in terms of immersion five milliseconds response time is on the upper limit for what's acceptable for gaming and probably won't even be discernible for most gamers now as i mentioned this does support free sync which should be a huge bonus and it definitely can be but again with some caveats and that means it's not going to stack up all that well against some other models and i'll explain why now i wasn't able to secure a free sync enabled card for an in-depth testing in this review but the effective 40 to 75 hertz adaptive sync window is one of the smallest i've seen on a gaming monitor it's great that it's been included especially in an ultra wide monitor it was one of the first free sync monitors in general and definitely one of the first ultra wide monitors and from what i saw at ces at the demo it works really well when you're in that window the problem is if you go above it or below it it kind of all falls apart there are ways to optimize your playing experience to help make sure you stay in this window battlefield for instance lets you set a upper frame rate limit to make sure that you won't go above a certain number of frames even if your graphics card is capable of doing that you can also tune most of your in-game settings per title to make sure your average frame rate falls within this window for most games and it is a pretty good option for people willing to work 
work for that 60 FPS standard gaming experience. Hopefully subsequent iterations will come with a wider free sync window. This is especially important because other manufacturers are coming into the ultra wide market that LG has just kind of exploded and grown for the most part on their own and they're offering 1440 with 144 hertz and one millisecond most of those are tn but the point here is that lg can't just sit on their laurels they're going to need to continue to offer new and better features and products in general in the ultra wide space for gaming this just really doesn't hit the spot for me the expanded field of view is great and nice and immersive i've just become so used to gaming on 144 hertz monitors with one millisecond greater greater response time that i'm kind of spoiled i'm just used to it a lot of people don't really notice the difference but i do so watching movies or really any videos with a matching aspect ratio on this is so amazing and immersive it really makes me want to check out some of lg's curved variants of their ultra wide monitors maybe i can get one of those in for review we'll see all said and done i think that this is a very nice monitor that will be well suited for a lot of people especially those looking to get into the 34 inch ultra wide kind of space without spending too too much money to get to this price point lg has had to cut back on a few things namely the resolution it being uh 1080 and having a lower uh pixel density and also they've had to kind of um, offer a less expensive uh, stand without that much adjustability. The major detractor I'd say is just the really small free sync window, but I hope that can get fixed in future iterations. As for the pros, I really love editing on this monitor. And in general, it's really great for productivity. I really think ultra wides will be a staple in my editing setup for a long time to come. So that's it for this video. I've got pricing and availability for this and all of LG's ultra wide monitors in the description below. So go check that out. Let me know what you thought of the video and whether or not you you think you might be picking up this or one or some other LG monitor in the future leave some comments below to let me know how you feel give this video a thumbs up or thumbs down let me know whether you want to see more videos like this in the future subscribe to the channel if you already haven't share this video with your friends if you liked it, it helps me uh, grow the channel a lot I've got my Amazon affiliate link in the description below if you bookmark it and use it when you buy Mike and Ike's or giant ultra wide monitors I get a small commission it costs you nothing and I throw any cash I get right back into production of videos so I can bring you guys more and better content. That is it for this video. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you soon.